So I have a very simple document here. So let's look at how we would add some page numbers to this. So the first thing I want to do is come over to my pages panel. And you'll see up here, I've got something called my A master. Now, the beauty of the A master is if you go inside that, you make changes to that document, it will make changes to the resultant pages. You'll see these pages here have a little A above them. You want to make sure that all your pages in your document correspond to your master document. Uh, in InDesign, this should do this automatically. In case not, you can always click and drag this over to each page. So once we're happy with that, let's jump into the A master. I'm going to zoom in here. And then what I want to do, I'm going to come to my type tool and draw out a, a box so that it's just central there. Once the type tool is drawn out, I go to type, insert special character, markers, current page number. That adds that in there then. Now I can obviously apply some styles to this. Um, I can use my uh, paragraph panel if I've already got preset styles, or I could just change it in the character panel here. So we could send to that, make, make it a little smaller. And then if I duplicate that then, so hold out, drag this across and put that there. Both of these pages search show the page numbers. And then if I come to my pages panel, I come out then of Amaster by double clicking on my document. And you can see now that it's added the page numbers accordingly. And if I add pages at the end, you can see it's adding as I go. Um, on that home page, then, if I want to remove this page number, I can either hide it with something or I can just use the none, drag that there, and then that removes then uh, any rules applied to the A master. So I can drag that onto various pages. And there you have it. So that's how you add page numbers to a document in InDesign. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and I will see you next time for the next tutorial.